Hi, my name is Birgit van Eetvelde. I'm a PhD student at the University of Ghent in Belgium, more specific at the Department of Rehabilitation Sciences. This research is about the impact of di um, diabetic neuropathy on muscle strength parameters, such as maximal muscle strength, um, strength endurance, and explosive muscle strength. Um, what we already, already know is one, diabetic neuropathy is the most common complication in patients with uh, type 2 di diabetes. Two, diabetic neuropathy um, affects the maximal muscle strength, the muscle mass and the functionality in the lower limbs. And three, diabetic neuropathy is associated, associated with uh, considerable comorbidity and uh, mortality. So uh, our research question is whether strength endurance and explosive muscle strength also are affected by the presence of diabetic neuropathy. Um, so, uh, therefore, we, we searched uh, 54 male participants aged between uh, 55 and 85, and there were 19 healthy um, controls without neuropathy, combined with 35 uh, patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus subdivided into uh, a group without neuropathy, a group with sensory neuro neuropathy and a group with sensory motor neuropathy um, based on uh, ANMG and clinical neurological, neurological examina examination. Um, the outcome measures were maximal muscle strength and strength endurance uh, in the dominant knee and ankle. Um, and they, they were assessed um, uh, at a Biodex dynam dynamometer and uh, corrected for uh, lean body mass of the tested leg. Um, explosive muscle strength, here um, the single two leg jump test and the functional performance set to stand test or chair rising test uh, were assessed at the Leonardo um, uh, uh, force plate by mechanography. And both were corrected, statistically, statistically corrected, um, for body weight of the patient, total body weight of the patient. Looking at the strength results, we see that strength endurance total work um, is uh, affected by the presence of, uh, of type 2 diabetes with or without neuropathy. So all, uh, all three diabetes groups were um, uh, significantly um, reduced in value compared to the healthy controls um, without significant differences between the three uh, diabetes groups themselves. However, looking at the, um, the fatigue, um, the work fatigue ratio, you can't see uh, any sig significant differences between the four uh, groups neither for knee extension, knee flexion, neither for, or, or, nor for ankle plantar flexion and ankle dorsiflexion. Explosive muscle strength and maximal muscle spring, uh, strength um, were uh, reduced uh, in the patients with uh, uh, sensory motor neuropathy. So we can conclude that strength endurance impairment is predominantly in patients uh, with type 2 diabetes, with or without neuropathy, um, uh, and due to uh, chronic um, hyperglycemia, while explosive and maximal muscle strength uh, decline is more likely uh, triggered by the presence and the severity of diabetic neuropathy.